sometimes we're so consumed on wanting to go to the most poppin' spots when in reality, just traveling out the country itself is such a privilege. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you don't know, my name is Bryce and today I am going to be giving you tips and advice on how to travel for an affordable price. So the reason why I came up with this idea is because I was scrolling on TikTok one day and there's this new trend going on right now and it's basically saying that you'll never be 20 something in a specific location, say for instance Aruba. And the trend's really emphasizing on how you should travel while you're young. It got my attention and it got me wondering and I was like, you know, that is so true because I feel like especially like no matter how old you are, but especially when you're young, like I am willing to pay for experiences that I know that will create beautiful memories throughout my whole life instead of say for instance materialistic things. And I just wanted to make a video on this because I know traveling is a privilege, but I do think there's ways around it. So this is why I'm gonna give you these specific tips and advice on ways that I think if you incorporated this within your life, you will have a better chance of being able to travel to places that you've always wanted to go. So my first advice I'm gonna give to anyone that wants to travel more is two things. And these two things are really important because if you wanna travel, you need to have what? You need to have money. So the first one is you need to save. So if you look throughout your daily routine, find stuff that you notice you're spending a little bit more money on, whether it could be going out a little more, you might have to pay for more gas, or maybe once a week you go to Starbucks, that's an extra like $6. Like This stuff accumulates over time. So I would pay attention to that so you can end up saving a little bit more. And my second thing, which is my favorite, is find a way to make more money. There are so many side hustles now that I really think if you really do your research and find something that you're passionate about, there are so many things that you can do that can allow you to make more money to put in your savings so when you do want to travel, you got it. So the next tip I'm going to give is to find deals on flights and resorts. So to give you guys an idea of how much I usually spend when I travel, I usually spend no more than around 300 on my flight and no more than around 300 for the resort or Airbnb that I usually stay in. If it's over that, I'm kind of like, eh, maybe, maybe not. But usually I spend around like $600 altogether for me to get there and back and also for me to have a place to stay. How I'm able to find these deals is I usually look on Expedia. Expedia always has the best deals. And also one of my friends, she always finds really good deals on Google Flights. So I would also recommend looking up flights for that. And if you are the type of person where you want to do more of like a solo travel, I highly recommend resorts. But if you're the type of person where you really just want to pay for the flight and the resort and you're like, you know, I'm kind of struggling with the money. Like if I go out the country, I don't know if I'll have enough funds once I get there. Make sure you look up all-inclusive resorts because that's probably your best bet. All-inclusive resorts, I've had a friend that went to DR for around $600, which include resorts. Uh, four nights, five days, and everything was paid for. They had clubs there, they had pools, open bar, you could eat whenever you want, buffets and all that. So uh, that's what I would recommend. I feel like that's a really good way to uh, go out the country because once you get there, you don't have to worry about anything. You don't have to worry about money. The next advice I'm gonna give is to be open-minded when looking for places to go. I know everybody wants to go to the hot spots like Turks and Caicos or Tulum or I don't know there's so many places but look at other places too because there's so many beautiful places to go like for instance I went with my friend to Belize we paid around like $200 for our resort and our flight was around like $300 and we had such an amazing time the food was so cheap there the locals were so amazing like it was just such a beautiful atmosphere and we had the time of our lives there and usually i don't know if a lot of people would consider but usually you don't hear about belize too much and we had the time of our lives so sometimes when you are looking for places to travel look around like you never know there's plenty of places that um are really affordable that you can travel to also do your research and make sure that uh, it's like safe, it's a safe area and stuff like that too. But yeah, you know, sometimes we're so consumed on wanting to go to the most poppin' spots when in reality, just traveling out the country itself is such a privilege. So appreciate where you can go and just make sure it's safe and just find really nice, uh, what would you call them? Call them like hidden gems, find like some hidden gems that, you know, like 
you can go to because those places are absolutely gorgeous and I've anytime I went to a place out the country that wasn't popping I've had so much fun literally the time of my life so I would recommend being open-minded because you never know next advice is to find friends that are down to travel with you I know this can be hard for some people depending on if you have a pretty big friend group or even if you have friends that are down to travel because I know just because you have friends doesn't mean they're gonna be down to travel I have two friends that are always down with me to travel so sometimes that can uh, play a part with it but I would recommend finding people and if you do not have friends to travel with just use that as motivation to go out more and meet more people and become friends with more people this whole video I'm gonna be like be careful because traveling out the country you need to be careful but yeah um, I recommend traveling with friends or within a group because it just makes it more affordable. A lot of times the Airbnbs will be around like, especially the nice ones will be around like 800, 900 or more. And so when you can split it amongst your friends, you're really only paying 200, $300. That's why a lot of times when I travel too, it's not that expensive because we're all split, we're all splitting the fee. So it's like $200 for four nights. Like that's an amazing, that's amazing. I, I can't even find that going to a hotel in New York. So yeah, I'm gonna pay that going outside, you know what I'm saying? So like, I would recommend uh, finding people that are down and you know what? It is best to plan ahead so you can tell them ahead. Don't tell someone a month before, hey, like, I think I want to go out the country for my birthday. Like, you have to prepare people because people have, people have lives, people have stuff that they need to do. And in order for people to be more willing to go on a trip with you, I think it's best to plan. It's best to plan and it's best to come up with a plan so that you can bring it to them and be like, hey, like, what's your thoughts on this? Would you be down? And let them know, like, hey, I'm trying to spend around this much money. I think this would be great. And you never know who would be willing to go. So... I would, re I would highly recommend that. I really just wanted to make this video because I feel like with capitalism and just being in a society where us individuals have to work to live, which is crazy to me, you know, whenever I traveled, it was just always like a breath of fresh air and I just felt so at peace with myself and I just felt so like in such a beautiful state of mind. And so I really just want other people to also experience that as well. So that's why I always recommend people to travel outside the country because it really does change your mind. I've traveled to so many places. I've traveled, okay, not so many places, but I've traveled, I've, I've been traveling a lot recently. I've traveled to Turks and Caicos, Tulum. I've traveled to Playa del Carmen. I went abroad to China, which I could talk about my experience if anyone's interested. Um, there's so many places that I've traveled to. And I highly recommend you guys to travel whenever you get the chance to. So I hope this video was helpful. Thank you guys for tuning in to my YouTube channel. And I hope to see you guys on my next video. Mm -hmm.